Hi right, guys, so last night I got to go out and do a little lobster diving off the Pacific coast. Remember, fishermen always keep their spots secret. Uh, you can see why. We got a couple of big boys here. They're both males, probably about 20, maybe 30 years old. This one's about six, maybe, maybe seven pounds. This one's about seven, maybe eight, um, or opposite. But um, you can see these guys have no claws, like I was mentioning. A few other things about them is they have a big old molar right here. Whoa! That's their tail slap. This is how they swim, by the way. They swim backwards to escape the predators. And <laughs> this one's not too happy to be here. They have a big molar right in here. Um, one giant tooth that they crunch mussels clams oysters last night they crunched my finger pretty well and uh a friend of mine um up at uh, the house where i shower off in ventura put a pen in there and they snapped the pen right in two you can see down here are his swimmerettes um these swimmerettes are really important when i show you the female in class when we dissect you'll see the female swimmerettes overlap that's because she holds her eggs in the abdomen during the year um, their actual leg tips here, their jointed appendages, the ends, have these hairs. And these hairs are sensitive to taste. They're actually like chemoreceptors, which we have in our tongue. Uh, they don't taste sour, bitter, sweet, but what they do is they can tell if there's food right outside their little hole. So they don't have to venture out and expose themselves. Anyway, this part here is called the carapace. It's also called the cephalothorax because it houses both the nerve, which is their brain, and their liver inside, as well as their seminal vesicles, in this case, which are the testes. Down here is the tail meat, really part of the abdomen which we eat, and then the telson fans out beautifully in order to propel it backwards. All right, guys, have a great day.